have an update on Teddy and what's the week going to look like for him? Uh, I'm not sure yet. You know, he's in the uh, protocol there, so the medical people will be in charge of that. If Teddy doesn't practice all week but is available on game day, even without practicing, would he still start? We'll see. Would you Deontay have... and uh, Pat Sertan, their injuries. Who? Deontay Spencer and Pat Sertan. Yeah, I think both of those will be a day-to-day -day thing. Uh, did you have a problem with the last play that Baltimore ran? And... Yeah, I thought it was kind of bullshit, but I expected it from them. You know, I've 37 years in pro ball, I've never seen anything like that. So, but it was to be expected, and we expected it. Why did you expect it from them? Because I just know how they operate. You know, they, that's just their, uh, you know, mode of operation there. Player safety is secondary. Is that something anybody even really talked about, that they had had 42 straight or whatever the number was, 100-yard games? And uh, we didn't talk about it during the week, but I'm sure the players were aware of it. You guys made them well aware of it. What did you think about the uh, no calls or the no flags on the hits on Spencer and Bridgewater? Yeah, they should have been called, obviously, but they weren't, you know. Um, I sent a video into the officiating office during the week showing similar hits that they've had and gotten away with, and it continued. So you can see sending videos to the officiating office can be fruitless at times. What did you make of Drew Locke after watching him on tape this morning? I just think he was like the rest of our offense. We weren't, you know, we weren't good enough offensively, the entire group. Is that is that tough for a young guy, first time being in that position, or did he seem like he was trying to do too much on some of those throws? Yeah, it can be tough, obviously, when you're thrown in there cold, but um, he's got to be able to do that. When you look back at the, kind of the second half, you were down 17-7, Drew goes in, you only ran four times. Did, were you chasing points? Did it just get out of kilter? Because obviously that, that's not how you guys have played the first three weeks. That yeah, part of that is you know when you're going three and out, and uh, you don't have many plays. And uh, it's hard to get anything going when you're going three and out as much as we did or one first down and out. And you just don't have plays. And, you know, it just skews everything. How would you feel that the two guards played after watching the tape? Uh, up and down, both of them. Do you expect uh, Ronald Darby to practice this week? And what could he maybe He's eligible to return to practice. And we'll see where he's at come Wednesday. You mentioned that the protection was kind of an across the board issue when you look back how correctable does that look to you on film they should be correctable what do you think about dalton Caden? and Graham back this week this week's game you know i think uh dalton probably not sure on Graham yet what do you think about caden stearns and what you're getting from you know him as a rookie at this point yeah he was put in some good position yesterday and he came through with the uh, tackles on the quarterback you know for the sacks which as you, we all know, that's not an easy guy to tackle, and he got that done. And the more impressive play was the breakup down the field when he was scrambling out of there. That was a great play. Do you feel like you need to sign a quarterback this week with Teddy's uncertainty? We'll see where Teddy's at. For fans who maybe don't understand end of the game type of deal, what is the issue? Is it injury factor on the, the final play where they ran it? Injury factor, sportsmanship, what is the issue there? All of the above. Yeah, we were um, we gave up a big one there, the one in particular that we were in a uh, post safety defense and we just didn't have enough depth in our middle safety. You said, was Dalton you said, close to playing on uh, yesterday? Yeah, probably. You know, close is probably a good term, but not close enough. What did what did it come down to? Not close enough. Okay. You said yesterday you can't have a, a hangover from this loss. What gives right. you confidence that these guys won't have that going into Pittsburgh? I think we will. I mean, this is a resilient group. Um, they fought hard to the end yesterday. There's no problem with their effort. Um, and I believe we'll do that. Caden Stearns, any thought of putting his young legs back maybe in the base safety, getting a couple snaps here and there? No. Yeah, as you watched Javante's run yesterday, how much did you appreciate it when you watched him? Yeah, it was morning? tremendous. You know, he's, um, but that's what we, that's why we traded up to get him in the second round. We knew if he, we waited, he wouldn't have been there. And uh, he's proven us right. He, you know, he's a really good back and been very pleased with his play. Statistically, the running game was, was good yesterday. What did you think of it specifically in the first half? Yeah, statistically, it wasn't. You know, you're just looking at yards per carry. 
which when you throw in a 31 yarder and then we had two other good runs there by Melvin but by and large they were winning the running downs you know so when you look at yards per carry that's probably the worst thing to look at. Uh, Garrett Bowles was critical of himself after the game last night does he need to be how much better does he need to be in pass pro after the first four games? He needs to be better. Yeah. You know, he should be critical of himself. He didn't play well enough last night, yesterday. Are you seeing it as all technique? Pardon me? All technique from him, or is he, is it? You know, mainly the pass protection. Vaughn joked after the game that he's looking forward to getting back to preparing for a normal team in terms of a guy that just drops back a pass. Do you look at it that way, too? I know every team is, is different, but. No, it was, uh, you look at it as a challenge. Their offense is unlike any of the other 31 offenses in the league. And it was a challenge to uh, get ready for it and to play it. I thought, by and large, we did a good job, but not good enough, obviously. Was it Ken injury ribs, or what did, they, what did it end up being? Yeah, it's more of a midsection thing. But why has it been so hard to fix your special teams? Yeah, we seem to have one play a game that um, pulls it down. We had a good game going special teams-wise, and then they uh, you know, break the uh, – punt return for a long game that gives them the three points there at the half. Um, it's a good question. Obviously one we got to fix. We've been trying. Vic, you talked about the uh, the five sacks, the protection issues pro probably being a, a team-wide operation. Is that, is that kind of the way you saw it as you, as you look back in terms of why there were so many uh, kind of pressures on the quarterbacks yesterday? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not just the uh, sacks. You know, I don't like seeing them get hit either. And um, we had too many breakdowns, both in uh, just individual play, guys getting beat because of poor technique. And then uh, on a, one or two occasions, it was a, you know, we didn't block the right guys. Were there, were there any other plays yesterday where you felt the Ravens took any liberties in terms of how they blocked the play or hit after the whistle? Or You know, there, I'm sure there's some, but I can't give you a number on them. What do you think about Kendall Hinton as Turner? What's your confidence him as can't go? Yeah, I thought he went back there and caught it well. Um, we have other options too. You know, Moore can do it, Bryce can do it. But, you know, from getting thrown in there in a big game, I thought he did fine. Is he the emergency quarterback too? Probably. So, has that punt returner been kind of an open thing this week if Spencer can't play between those three guys? Yeah. Did you, did you speak to John after the game about the last play? And No. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll have more information by Wednesday, and that will be have more of a determining factor. Is the, early, for the, coach? Is the earliest Teddy could practice because of protocol of Friday? Is that your understanding? I don't think so. It could be earlier than that. Maybe? Could be. Okay. To some, you know, with with uh, um, ramification. You know, he's he can't go out in full practice, but he may be able to do some stuff. Sooner than Friday. Correct. Coach, what was your overall message to the team with you guys sitting here at three and one, but obviously a tough loss? Yeah, we haven't met today yet as a team. I will, we will here shortly. But uh, you know, it's just time to move on. You know, it's a 17 round fight. We lost the fourth round. We got to get out of the stool and go answer the bell for the fifth round. Okay. Thank you, Vic. Right. See you Wednesday.